Last weekend was my birthday party. I turned 40 and had an amazingly wonderful uh, Alice in Wonderland themed birthday with friends that I never get to see and people that might live close but family gets in the way and we don't get to spend as much time with each other. And I remember waking up the next day saying to myself just how happy I was that so many people went out of their way to celebrate my special day with me. And, you know, again, the people that are, have been in my life for so long or that, and that is so important to me were it was just wonderful spending so much time. And I kind of laid in bed thinking about different conversations that I had. And I was just so thrilled. So on Monday, I had a friend of mine from the party call and said, hey, what happened with this conversation with so-and-so? And I recounted the conversation and we were going back and forth discussing it a little bit. And I got this kind of aha moment as we were talking and I wanted to share it with you. So as we were having a conversation, I was really just talking about all the great things that were going on and how a few years ago I would have never pictured myself to be here and either one of us and where we are in our lives, like we would have never guessed when we were younger that this is where we would be. And that's really all that it was. And for me, I'm coming to the table filled with happiness and joy and fulfillment. I've got all these great things going on and I have a wonderful husband and a wonderful son and, and great opportunities happening. And my friend, on the other hand, is not coming from such a positive place. She is not exactly where she wants to be in her life. And I wasn't really thinking of that when I was talking about it. I was just coming from happiness and joy and, and sharing that excitement with her. And it got me to realize and be a good reminder, I guess, that we really do see the world not as it is, but as we are. And let that sink in for a second. How many times have you come to the table with negative thoughts and thought negative things about somebody else or negative things about the world? The world's got a lot of stuff going on and it's not always perfect, but normally I'm pretty happy and I'm not letting myself get sucked into a lot of the negativity where if you already are in a negative place, you're stressed out, you're overwhelmed, you might be having um, issues with your spouse or your family or your job or whatever it is, then you're already coming from a negative place. You're not maybe working on the things that you need to be working on to make your life happier and therefore just things keep adding to the list of how crappy things are instead of realizing that you have the opportunity to make whatever changes that you need to make to make tomorrow better than it is today. So what changes are you making? Are you doing things today that your future self are gonna be happy with? What are some of the things that you can change now? Do you need to change anything now? What's real and what's perceived? You know, along with seeing the world through rose-colored glasses or gray-colored glasses, we have to remind ourselves that when we meet people, it's a mirror for ourselves. It's a memory, a um, lesson, something that's really coming back to ourselves. That's why we meet people. They're there to help us in some way, shape or form, learn more about ourselves. So for me, it was a good opportunity to remember that not everybody is in the same place that I'm at. And I have to kind of keep that in mind when I'm having conversations. And as much as I want to bring everybody to this happy place, I realize people, it's not everybody's there yet. And for other people that are already in that negative place, Remember, you don't have to stay there and you don't have to have this life day after day. You can make a decision to start making changes and start looking at how, am I, how are my communication skills? How am I looking at the world? Are there things that I can change? What can I do different? And am I saying really what's on my mind or I keep, am I keeping it hidden? And some of those little kinds of things that I just talked about are things that you can start doing to make changes so that way you are living the life tomorrow, six months from now, a year from now that you want to be living. It doesn't take that much work, but when you're in a negative place, it does take a little bit of work to start making those changes and you can get there. So good luck on your adventure and start making those changes now. Your future self will be really happy about it.